Hey guys, this video demonstration comes to us via user request. Today we're going to take a look at some DSD receiving examples. Now in case you're not familiar with DSD or direct store delivery, it's really just a distribution process for the retail store environment to get products from the manufacturer to the retail store shelves quickly, efficiently, and cost effectively. Today we're going to take a look at how SMS can help manage those processes. So in today's review, we're going to break down the DSD process within SMS. We'll look at a couple different types of examples. We'll actually create a DSD receipt on a PDA device. Then we'll create another one on a more traditional PC-based workstation. And then we'll wrap up by defining what it all means to you. Let's get started. So as we get started here, I just want to make one final point. This is not intended to be a training session on DSD, nor review the importance of DSD in the retail environment. We're just going to show you some of the steps that we go through to set up a DSD receipt with an SMS. And we're going to start off here in our PDA. Now I've kind of faked it here in a Windows Explorer menu, not since I can't show you the actual hardware device, but I think this is going to give you a good idea of the various steps that we would go through if we're on the back dock receiving via a PDA. So what you see in front of you is the main menu interface of the PDA device and it's going to be displayed on a screen sort of rectangular like this so I've even mocked that up for you. Now you can do a bunch of things with the SMS PDA. In fact you can do most all the activities that you can do in the back office or at the POS right from a PDA device but today we're just going to focus on the DSD piece. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click into the deliveries menu and then get to a sub menu and go from there. Now from the main DSD submenu, we can create a new document or we can hit this more button. Now the more button is used to open existing documents, adjust your configuration, that type of stuff. We're not going to mess with that. We're just going to go ahead and create a new receipt. To do that, it's as simple as hitting new document. Now typically what you would do is use the PDA device to go ahead and scan a UPC off the item you're receiving or maybe off the packing slip. So to simulate that, I'm going to type in a UPC that I know in my head, 123, and I'm going to simulate that. Now the next screen that's presented to you is confirmation that yes, we want to work on this particular vendor, vendor number B673 on this receipt. From there, it's as simple as confirming the vendor by using the stylus or hitting the enter key, and then you're into the main DSD receiving document. From here, the next step is really just to add items to our receiving document here and move through the rest of the process. To do that is real simple. Just click the Add Items button. Now, I know we already scanned this item before, but it's just going to reconfirm this here. So we can go ahead and select Enter Now or go ahead and scan it again, and that's going to put the UPC here in the code. Or with your stylus, you could hit the little question mark, and it would bring up a listing of the items available from this particular vendor. Now, in my case, I only have the one item here, so it's real easy. I just hit it with my stylus, and it's going to go ahead and place that receiving piece into the document so that we can move on. This next step is pretty self-explanatory. We're just going to use a numpad on our PDA device to confirm the number of cases we're receiving in. Let's say seven in our case. And then from there, the system is going to go ahead and sum up the total of the receipt for us right in front of your eyes. Now, if we had any rebates or discounts or anything like that from this particular vendor, we could verify it by clicking this minus button here. Now, in this scenario, we don't, but we'll take a look at another example where we do. And if we had those rebates or discounts, they would just be listed here. But for now, we don't, so we're going to back up and go ahead and finish up this process. So to close this document out, we're going to step back into our main document DSD window. We have all those options just like we had before. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the invoice header on this so that we can put in a reference number or a PO number. We're going to call this one 1234 so we can reference it later. Now we're going to step back to the main DSD menu again. We can look at the invoice total and we can see, yep, here's the total, here's the balance due, and there's some other fees on this. We'll check this in a second just to make sure all the math is right. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'll show you why those fees are there a little bit later. And we're going to go ahead and pay cash for this particular item. And the entry was 111.23, I think it was, wasn't it? Let's see. Yep, I got it right. Our balance is zero. We paired our cash. We're going to close out. And now that DSD is done. And you can see it's taking us back to the main menu or we can open up a new document. That's pretty good stuff. Okay, so let's quickly run through one other example here from the PDA. Now, in this example, I'm going to go ahead and look up an item on my vendor ID. I'm going to use my stylus to hit the question mark, and I can select from my list of vendors. I can go backwards and forwards and all that good stuff, but I want to select this particular vendor, Adam's Brand. We've opened up our DSD document. I'm going to go ahead and add an item, and I want it to scan this UPC right here, so I'm going to go ahead and simulate that. And you can see in this environment, I've got my item number and some of the, the information about the product, and you can see I've got a base cost of $745. 
five, and the net cost is seven thirty. Well, I must be getting some sort of rebate off this item. So how do we verify that? Well, we just come down here to the minus window, and we can see, yep, there it is, right there, a fifteen percent, or I'm sorry, a fifteen cent rebate per case, and you can see we're within the validate. So so that's a good thing. That part of it is working out. Now let's go ahead and say we want to receive in three of these, and then we're going to go back to our main DSD menu just like we did before. We're going to look at our invoice header, and our reference number this time is going to be five six seven eight so that we can take a look at it later step back into our DSD menu we're gonna go ahead and look at the totals and we can see yep those totals match what we wanted three cases 2190 this time we're gonna pay by a check our check payment is twenty one dollars and ninety cents we're gonna go ahead and put that in our balance is zero we closed out the receipt we could do another we could do this all day long if we wanted but now let's take a look at the PC version of this Okay, so I've hopped over into the main SMS application, and we're going to take a look at how the DSD processes work on a more traditional PC-based workstation. So from our main interface, we're going to go into the buying section of the tool because we're trying to fill our shelves. Then we're going to go into the extended module. Then we're presented with a home interface, which shows all the stuff that's open right now. We're going to go into the DSD section, or deliveries, just like we did on the PDA. Now, from here, if we go ahead and list all the closed ones and we scroll down here to the bottom, we should see, yep, there they are. There are the two that we worked on on the PDA. Remember those reference numbers we used? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8? So if we were to go ahead and open this document up, you would see that we got our gum. It's right here. We ordered three cases, and we got our deal. Remember the 45 cents that we got on that because we ordered three cases? All that is showing right here in the close. So that's pretty cool. Everything's matching up. But for now, let's go ahead and show on the PC-based system how we go ahead and set up a new delivery. And it's just like before. We're going to go ahead and hit the new delivery button and start things from there. Now at this point, I would guess that you guys could probably drive this just as good as I can. Let's step through it and you'll see how easy it is. The first thing we're going to do, create a new delivery. There we go. Now we're into the actual receiving document. Now the best analogy I can give you is once we're in this receiving document on the PC based system, it's going to be set up a lot like a typical 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. You know, there are going to be various sections on that piece of paper and we're going to have certain information that goes in each section. The header, think of it more like the top quarter or so of the paper where you're going to have vendor specific information, our reference number that we want to go ahead and type in here now so that we can remember it later, the date, that sort of thing. The lines of the purchase order document, or actually the receiving document in this case, is kind of like the middle of the piece of paper where it's going to list these are the items that we're receiving in today. The totals are going to be that bottom portion of the paper that's going to be just, you guessed it, the summary totals of what's going on on this particular receipt. Now this items button, this is just a listing of all the stuff that the vendor has available to us, and we're going to pick from this list the items that we're going to stick in the body of our document, our lines, and that we'll receive in today. So let's go ahead and do that. So our vendor showed up today and he's got some of these. We're just going to highlight the item, double click on it, go down here to the cases section. He's going to bring in eight of these today and then he's going to bring us some of these, this ending in 292 here, and he's going to give us all, oh, let's say, three of these today. And, and basically that's it. Those are going to be the items that we need to go through on this receipt. Now the really cool thing about the PC based version of this is you can see we got a lot more real estate and a heck of a lot more data available to us right here within the receiving document. We've got all our costing information, how we buy this unit, you know, what the case sizes are, all that good stuff. Then down here at the bottom, we've actually got some maintenance stuff that we can work on as well. So if we wanted to go back in time and say look at our movement, we can see how many of these we sold by week. Yeah, that's pretty cool, and if my inventory was really up to date and not a real demo system here, you would see these numbers so long as it's you're calculating the inventory. Let's say you wanted to take a look at dollar sales. That's easy enough to find. By days of the week, you can see how much of this item you sold. If there are any fees associated with it, some shipping fees or maybe other type of fees, bottle returns, stuff like that, all that will be listed here. Our deals, we've got a whole tab related to that, so you can easily see when deals come on and come off. The item specific information, you've already seen that. So let's say we need to add a category or family. We could do that pretty easily. All we have to do is come in here and double click and then a window will pop up and then we can go in and pick, oh, let's just stick it in this one for giggles right now. Now all of a sudden in this item, in the receiving document, we updated item maintenance. That's pretty cool. Another really neat feature that we can do from here within the receiving document is going to the price or the cost table. Either one can be obtained and accessed. So we can go into the price. We can see, oh yeah, there's our regular price. What if we wanted to set just a quick sale price on this item for whatever reason? Well, we're in the receiving document. Why the heck would we want to go anywhere else? Let's go ahead and make that price right now. We put in our price that we want to do. We want to start it today. We're going to say end it through Saturday. And you know what? 
we're ready to go. The sale price is set up and it will be activated the next time this item is scanned up. And oh, by the way, let's say we wanted to print a new shelf label. See that little button right there? We just hit it and the shelf label comes out for this sale price and we can replace it on the fly. And we haven't left the receiving document. That is really, really cool stuff. Now the rest of this is going to be just like we saw on the PDA. You know, we can go to our lines and we can see, yep, these are the two items that we're, we're working on in this receipt. And then we go over to the total section. And when I look at this, I can look at it by line or I can look at summary totals and say, yeah, everything matches up. I'm getting my deals and all that good stuff. And we're about ready to finish. The only thing left to do is pay for it. So the payment options are over here, just like there were on a PDA. This time, we're going to go ahead and charge it to our account. And we're going to say well, the total charge amount for this time is 173.45. We're going to accept it, close the delivery, and voila, we're done. Now, obviously, on this PC workstation version, there are a lot more tools available to you, at least on one screen. It's just because you got more real estate. Tell you the truth, everything that we did here on the PC version can be done in the PDA. We just have to go back and forth on a couple screens just because the real estate is so small. So maybe we can show you that stuff in another video demo. Until next time, have a great day.